Hey everyone, it's 112 here, and welcome back to another live stream. Uh, today we're going to be finishing off Mega Man Zero 04, and for that matter, the entire Mega Man Zero series. But first, before we start, I have two housekeeping things, or actually three housekeeping things, that I would like to bring up at the start of this stream. So, thing number one, we actually reached 100 followers in the last stream, and I did not notice that, so... My apologies, but I would like to thank you all so much for helping me reach this milestone. I really appreciate it. And onwards and upwards. Um, I, I, I do have something planned when we reach 112 followers, just because, you know, 112 and everything. So when we do reach 112 followers, we'll be doing something special for that. I assure you guys. Uh, second housekeeping thing I want to keep, I want to point out. This one is pretty short, but... Twitch added some new tags for streamers, which I really appreciate. Uh, you should be able to check them down below for if you guys are on Twitch. Um, personally, I just added the non-binary tag because I identify as non-binary. Uh, nothing much else changed. Just thought I'd point that out. And I appreciate Twitch adding new tags. They're cool. Uh, third and final thing is you'll notice that I'm actually wearing the hoodie for the first time. Because I wanted to get your guys' opinion. Do you think I should wear the hoodie on stream? So, this is still the whole Mega Man outfit that I've been wearing on pretty much every stream. But I've always wore the hood down. But I was curious if you guys thought it would be better if I wore the hood up. And it's kind of up to you. For this stream, I'm going to try wearing it up. And at the end of the stream, I'll take a poll to see if you guys want it up or down. And that'll be that. I actually want to zip this up a little bit. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. Just three very short housekeeping things that I wanted to get out of the way. Uh, without further ado, let's continue Mega Man Zero Four. We're very close to the end of the game. I think we have, what, two Maverick stages left and the end game. And the achievements we have left are pretty straightforward. So I think one of them, two of them are, are story related and cannot be missed. The other one, we have to construct the junk armor, which I talked about earlier. go. You guys should be able to see the stream, the game, now. Cool. Mythos Reploids. I know, they're not Mavericks, they're Mythos Reploids, but you know what I mean. Alright, let's let's uh, get back into Zero Four. It keeps giving me the remote play link, or the remote play reminder, which I guess would be useful for Z Chaser, but isn't really useful right now. Alright, so, if I remember correctly, the thing we need is- Alright, so we're, we're in a Tritista Calvarian stage, and what we need to find, the area around the- The area around the sub is a maze. Don't get lost. Yeah, we have, we have a time limit to try and get to the bottom of this, as you can see. So, I don't know if we'll be able to- Ooh, I like what's over there. That looks good. Can I get up there? No? Oh, I kind of... I uh, not... Uh, oh, wait, I can. This is, uh... Oh, this is Tech Kraken stage, my bad. For some reason, I was thinking this was, uh, Tratista Calvarians, but... Alright, fair enough. So let's, let's just find our way to the bottom. The entrance is just... Ow. Ahead, if you take the... Right passage. Alright, cool. Ow! Thankfully, I think we have both of our sub tanks fill full, so it's not a huge deal if we, uh... Nope, give me that. Nope, not over there. Okay, we just take the right passage. Is there anything... Oh, there seems to be stuff ar scattered around here. Here? I have about 60 seconds, not bad. Oh, that must, that must be it, but I want to see if there's anything over here first. Anything over here? Okay, it probably just loops. So, it looks like you've made it inside. Cool. All right. Is this um, one of those dragons? Yep. All right. This guy can be annoying. Oh, great. All right. I might actually die here. Yep, I'm dead. Alright, let's try that again. I mean, the maze isn't super hard to get through, but by the same token... Oh, I have to... Really? Did I not hit that other checkpoint? 
Well, that's annoying. All right, well, in that case, I gotta find my way back down because I, for some reason, did not hit the checkpoint over there. Great. I swear I hit the checkpoint, but I, I guess not. All right, ow. You have to wait till the text ends to get the checkpoint. Oh, I see. Yeah. Here. Nope, give me that. Come on. It looks like you've made inside. There we go. I must have jumped over that, which is pretty dumb of me, honestly. You guys probably weak to fire if I had to guess, if I had it. Uh, one thing I didn't talk about is that the elements, the elemental attacks this time are actually tied to EX skills. You don't get elemental chips. Oh, I see. Dang it. There we go, get out of here. Checkpoint again. Hopefully there's some bombardiers in this stage, because I need to find one of those. Probably over here. Wait, are these? I don't think these are bombardiers. Hold on. That's an ab cannon. They come out of the Mecha Masons. That's what I thought. I need to find at least one bombardier so I can get the junk armor. I don't see any Mecha Masons in this stage, but apparently there should be at least one. Oh, oh my god. Nothing up there. Dang it, I might die. Oh wait, here's a Mecha Mason. Alright, uh, oh. Nice, got it. Got a Bombardier, cool. I only think I need one, so let's just try to... Well, now I need to grind for another one, because I died. Well, that didn't go quite as planned. Alright, well, let's try that again. Hopefully I won't fail as miserably. That was, that was pretty... That was definitely an F moment. I don't know what that was, but I clearly got something. Can't, I can't believe I died as soon as I got the Mecha Mason. That's, or the, the Bombardier, that's annoying. For the love of God. <sighs> nope, don't kill that. No, I now I need to kill a Bombardier. It's these guys. Can you spawn a frickin'... Nice, got it, Bombardier. All right, now I can continue. God. Probably should have gotten another Bombardier, but it's not a huge deal. Oh, for the love of... Well, at least I got whatever that is. Telebomb. Don't kill me. Alright, and here's the boss. So I should be able to construct the junk armor now, which is good. You're here. I've been waiting a long time for this, Zero. I'm not just one of the eight warriors. I'm a remnant of, of the Zen A army led by the late Phantom. I am Tech Kraken. So yes, this guy originally worked under Hidden Phantom. I only put up with that while in this whole plan just so I could get revenge on the one who defeated Phantom, which in this case is me. Feel the rage of my former master. I will enjoy sinking these fangs of ice into you. All right, time to take down Tech Kraken. It's not, I don't know him being super duper difficult, but I also don't wanna, I'm, there's also ice physics here, so I don't wanna, Okay, this isn't quite going so well. It's 
Volt Kraken's long lost descendant. Just watch out. I gotta watch out now. And I'm dead. Alright. Well, at least you know that his, his whole shtick is, uh, you know... Is basically getting revenge on us because hidden, we killed Hidden Phantom in uh, zero 01 and zero 03, for that matter. I guess so, Ninja 587. Alright, let's try that again. Uh, this, this, alright, this part, this part isn't too bad, it's just you gotta be careful. Dang it. Cause he's gonna start doing this now. Almost got him. Got him. Oh, I killed him and then I paused the game by accident. Erg! Or Krog! I have linked my strength to while and now I must pay. There's no way for me to save Phantom's soul. But I did what I had to do. Phantom, forgive me! Yeah, he is pretty similar to um, Vault Kraken from X5. That's true. All right, there we go. Got an elf max level increase, although I don't think we can upgrade it still, which is a little annoying. But all right, we should be able to create junk armor now. Welcome back. So, the boss of this area was one of Phantom's men. Phantom lost his life in one of our many battles. Hidden Phantom from 03 and 01. Some, I sometimes wonder if all of our fighting is only creating more suffering in this world. Well, it's a good question, CL. Good question. Yep, we're gonna use the junk armor now. At first, I want to check the uh, elf real quick and see if we can upgrade it. Nope, st we need 600 for this. Alright, uh, we're probably gonna need to grind a little bit, which is not good. But, uh, what are you gonna do? Alright, so, to create the junk armor... Uh, yes, I will try crafting the double jump chip, if I remember how to do it. Uh, just give me one second, I gotta get up how to craft the junk armor. But I, I think we have everything we need at this point. And yes, we can't use any elf abilities with the junk armor, that's a great point. So, we're gonna do that. Right, hang on. All right, so we're gonna need one, two, three pieces of junk. I think we already have one. So we're gonna need to create two more pieces of junk. Um, I don't think we need the Axeloid in anything, so we can just do that. I'm just trying to create stuff that doesn't, you know, that doesn't that doesn't require things that we're gonna need. So I, I guess this and the, I don't know, E-Laser. There, we created junk. So now we need to do it again. So let's just use two E-Lasers, I don't know. And junk, nice, okay. So now that we have three junks, we should be able to create all of the junk parts. So for the junk head parts, we need the glass cannon and the serpent gear. So glass cannon and um, serpent gear, where is it? Nope, hold on. Where is it? I literally just had the glass cannon a second ago. Okay, glass cannon, serpent gear, Oh, and junk. I almost forgot. We're gonna need junk all three times. Uh, where's junk? Okay, junk. Cool, we got the junk head part. Now we need the junk body parts. So first we need serotanium. It's, this is really complicated for no reason. Serotanium, we need the Ganga gun. We need an S crystal. Wait, what? Oh, can we literally select the S crystal in here? Oh, okay, so, never mind. We're gonna need, we, we, it would be nice to have multiple S crystals since we can use those to get more sub tanks, but if necessary, it's, we don't, we, we won't use it. So let's try that again. We need Serotanium. We need Ganga Gun. We need the S crystal. And we need Junk. So, where's the Junk? There's the junk body part, and finally, to create the junk foot parts, we need a moloid. We need a beam walker. Nope, oh, dang it, hold on. 
We need... I, I messed up. We need a Moloid. We need a Beam Walker. Where is it? We need a Bombardier. And finally, we need Junk. Cool, we have the Junk parts. Excellent. We still have an S Crystal, though. Oh, no, wait. We would need a Fate Teal and a Ceratanium again. Okay. All right, so that's nice. So now we can actually equip the uh, the parts we, we have. We can equip the Junk Head, the Junk Body, and the Junk Foot. And as you can see, we'll actually look different. So this is the Junk Armor. Basically, what it does is it doubles our damage, but it also halves our defense. So, yeah, we'll, we'll need to... We'll need to keep this in mind, but we're going to try and beat the next stage using this armor, because if we do, we get an achievement. So anyways, there's only one... Oh, actually, I should save first. Hold on. Here, CL. Save the game. I, that's a good question. How do they lose the sub-tanks every time? It's a, I don't know. I don't know how X and Zero lose sub-tanks every game. All right, there's only one stage left. And it is the Hanging Gardens with Pegasalta Eclair. I remember this stage being really damn annoying, so let's see if we can do it. We've located Wild's Floating Fortress. It generates special clouds that become a source of lightning and acid rain. Get on board and ground that floating monstrosity. As the area is sunny, some of the clouds have dissipated, keeping visibility high. This seems like an opportune time to strike. Let's do the mission. All right, ready for transfer. This might take me a number of tries because this, I remember this boss fight can be pretty annoying. There are acid rain generators. Destroy them and save the ground below. So here we go. Pegasalta Eclair stage with the junk armor. Let's see how we do. Like I said, double, de defense is half, but attack is doubled. It's probably going to take me a couple of tries, but I will certainly try my best. I think we have full sub tanks too if we need them. Gotta be, just gotta play a little bit safe. Guess, guess we got a V fire. Let's see. Th see, look at that. You can see that we're gonna take a lot of damage during this, just because, you know, we, we have we have half defense, so we gotta play very very carefully. Dang it. And we're already dead. Yeah, this 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 level's gonna be pretty annoying. But let's see if we can do it. At least we got about halfway, I guess. Take a gyro cannon, I guess. Alright. That's true, the, the boss will also die quicker just because of the um Just because of the fact that um, you know, we have we we give him double damage, so it's not all bad. I'll take that. All right, I'm gonna wait for this to happen. Dang it! Dang it! Ah, uh, let's see. Right. I'll take that. Dang it! Uh, okay. Thank you. Well, yeah, S-ranking the game with the junk armor is, 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 is much easier than S-ranking the game normally just because you deal double damage. Oh, great. Fighting one of these dragon guys with the junk armor is going to be really stupidly annoying. Alright. Alright. Please die quickly. Dang it. Thank you. Get out of here. No, we won't. We will only. We will literally only be using the junk armor on this boss to get the achievement, and then I'm taking it off. I'm not. Oh, great. I'm not that. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not. I'm not that good at the game. All right. Come on. Oh, jeez. 
We could have also gotten a bunch of bombardiers from this stage, but, you know. Alright, nice. Gotta watch out for these floating platforms now. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, I guess it didn't really do much. Alright, we can do. Dang it! Alright, take these guys out. I mean, I'll take Mecha Masons, I guess. Nope, those guys are really annoying with the junk armor on. Alright, here's the boss. Let's see if we can do it. I have a feeling we won't be able to do it this first time, but let's at least try. I will smite the worthless vermin down below. Lord Wilde came up with a plan as beautiful as myself. All ugly things must bow down before me. Pegasulta Eclair will send you to the depths below. Alright, this boss can be pretty tough, so this is going to take me a couple tries. Of course, I missed. You see, look at that. Okay, actually, I almost got it. I just need to go in with full health, really. And again, I have a sub tank if I really start to get in trouble. All right. <laughs> you, you, you imagine Pegasus Claire with a British accent? That's interesting. Oh, come on. I'm down. Great, hold on. Almost dead. On. There we go, and I got it. What, I, it's called, the achievement is called what? This old thing? It, you basically just beat a boss with a junk armor, that's it. Wah! How could this happen to me? You beating me? That's impossible. But my death, it's so beautiful. Well, you're dead. Mr. Bones would even highlight my message and says it'd be one hell of a coincidence if Wiles' first name was also Albert. Ooh, flash forward to the Mega Man ZX series. Nice, I like that. I'll take it. And elf max level increased. So those are all the eight uh, uh, Mutos Reploids for the game. Or the, the Einherjar eight warriors, I guess. Welcome back. I can't believe they were planning to attack using that flying fortress. Wild means business. I can't believe he's human. How can he be so cruel? All missions are complete. Area zero situation is normal. It looks like I made it in time then. It looks like you did. Now area zero is safe. I'll save your data. Indeed, you saved area zero. Save game. I saved your data for you. Take a break, you deserve one. I'm receiving word from the resistance base. Opening channel. CL, zero, it's terrible. The base radar has detected a huge, uh, a, a large energy signature. The signature is coming from space. Space? The energy signature is off the charts. It's heading, area zero, get out there. What is it? Respond. What's going on up there? Something's overriding the signal. The source is Neo Arcadia. Hehehe. <laughs> I knew it, Dr. Weil. I told you, Zero, you don't have a chance of stopping Ragnarok. Laying down a blanket of destruction from the comfort of my space cannon was what Ragnarok was built for the whole time. The eight warriors were nothing more than a diversion until I could complete Ragnarok. Operator, could you transfer me to Ragnarok? I'm sorry, I can't pinpoint the coordinates. I can't send you anywhere without a destination. Hehehehe, mwahahaha. <laughs> Your confusion thrills me to no end. You pathetic insects crawling around, getting excited about your precious nature. I want to hear you scream as you meet your doom. The only one that's doomed is you. How dare, how dare you? That voice, Kraft. I've destroyed Ragnarok's remote control system. I am no longer your dog to yank around by the chain. Now I control Ragnarok. Your space cannon is no longer pointed at Area Zero. It's pointed at you and Neo Arcadia. 
seduced by the sweet words of a woman? Unbelievable. You do realize how many humans and reploids are living under my control. Are you saying that I should pay, play the loyal reploid and follow you? Not doing, not thinking, just waiting at your beck and call? Those words have aged quite poorly. And are you condoning the destruction of nature, struggling just to survive? I, I will not let you take control. I fought too long and too hard for humanity to let you. I will change the world, which sounds like Maverick talk to me. What? So you're going to attack Neo Arcadia instead? There are still humans and reploids there. Come in resistance base. L, come, C. Communication restored. CL, come in. Get everyone in the resistance base over to ne get everyone in the resistance over to New York Arcadia. Get the humans and reploids out of there. Even if you have to force them out, try to save as many as you can. Too many have already seen enough suffering. Understood. I will relay your orders immediately. Preparations for transfer to Ragnarok complete. Since the coordinates are based on Kraft's signal, this will be a forced transfer. Also, your position will be somewhat removed from Kraft's in the control room. All right, just transfer me. CL, don't give up hope. Zero. All right, ready for transfer. Transfer. Zero. Come back to us. All right, so here's the first fortress stage. Um, right off the bat, I'm gonna just, yeah. I'm not gonna use the junk armor for this. I only wanted to do it for that one achievement and I don't know if I can really get through the rest of the game like that. I might try it again later, but we'll see. This song is really good. I actually forgot what the stage is called off the top of my head. I'd have to check. I would like to um, go go to the resistance base and dang it, dang, dang, freaking enemies! I would like to go back to the um, resistance truck and upgrade some things if possible. I forgot what this song is called, but yeah, it's really good. Wish I remembered. It's it's been a while since I've got to Zero Four's end game. There we go. Wanna use the buster there. Not worth going for that. Ow. Alright, let's keep going. There comes this part. A lot of hanging around. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. This part is gonna, there's gonna be a lot of hanging around here. You can go through the platforms by pressing down and B and hang on to them, which you'll need to do to avoid the spikes. Like this. And then you can just go up, press up and B to jump back up to them. Oh, come on, game. Come on, game. There we go. Oh, this is not going well. Stop hanging around and save the world. Oh, I see what you did there. Change the world? Sounds like Maverick talked to me. I really I really hope we can... Damn it. I really hope we can play Maverick Hunter X on the channel at some point, because that game is really good. All right, let's try this again and hopefully not fail miserably. Yeah, watch out for these things. out of here. There we go. Ah, dodging those missiles is really annoying. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I've been thinking of doing the same, honestly, because a PlayStation port, I know the PlayStation Portable isn't really the best handheld, but Powered Up and Maverick Hunter X are so good. Like, they really need to be experienced by more people. Hopefully, Capcom will port them to modern consoles at some point. Oh, dang it. I'm gonna need to wait for that one to come back. I also have, like, no health, so I'm a little concerned about that. Oh my god, I actually saved that. Please, someone please clip that. That was ridiculous. Please don't die. Okay. Man, I am I am getting way too lucky with damage boosting. All right, 
right, that's not it. Gotta wait. Damn it! Okay, I guess that's my that's my that's what I get for kind of testing fate. This part is just, this part can be annoying. Unfortunately, I was not able to craft the double jump chip before we got here, but I'll try to craft it when we get back. I also want to try and craft a couple, at least one more S crystal because if you craft more S crystals, you can trade them for sub tanks. We might have to do a little bit of grinding before the end game. There we go. That's fair, Ninja 5 7 it's all good. I'll probably clip it after the stream. Get out of here. Whatever, I'll take the damage. Wait for it. Die. I mean, I'll take the Medu Hopper, I guess. All right, boss time. The heck? Uh-oh. The laser fired. Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. It already fired. CL, respond. Zzz. It's not working. What's going on up there? All right, well, we reached Ragnarok. It's craft. Zero, what are you doing here? I won't let you fire again. You were after while, weren't you? Ragnarok is charging up for a second shot. This will change the world and the people in it. Do you think Nage would approve of what you're doing? I know that I know that what I'm doing makes me seem like while. I don't care if people think of I'm a maverick. Someone has to take a stand and fix humanity's course. So yeah, here comes our second craft battle. I would definitely not be able to do this with junk armor. This, this battle's even harder than the first one. Dang it. Definitely gonna probably have to use a sub tank here. Yeah, I'm, all right. I'll try one more time without the, uh, the sub tank and then after this I will be using a sub tank. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Let's try it again. I don't know how to dodge that stupid laser attack. Dang it. Ah, dang it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need a sub tank. This is this is getting ridiculous. Right. You know what? No, what one more time without the sub tank, and after that we'll we will just use a sub tank, whatever. Try that again. Oh, come on. Oh my god, that did so much damage. Yeah, we need a sub tank. We got we we did better that time, but we're definitely going to need it. Oh, we have to dash under the laser. Okay. Fair enough. Really want my other elf upgrades, but I haven't gotten enough E crystals to get them, sadly. Dang it. <sighs> How do I dodge that thing? Alright, use that. Nope. Ah, I'm gonna have to use it again. That's unfortunate. All right, well, I should be able to beat it like this. There we go. One sub tank required, not bad. I'll, I can just refill that one at another point. All right. I, I wonder if we, I think we got an achievement for that or we will get one. We're only Reploids designed for war. It's not our place to change the world. That's up to humans like CL and Nage. As Reploids, we can only lend strength to those who we trust. Trust? And who should I and just who I should and just who should I be trusting? 
The humans that do, that do nothing while their world falls apart? The humans that fear us, their own creations? Or the humans that try to conquer the world? We fight each other for them? This world screams out in pain under them. Why should I trust anyone? How can you trust them? How can you fight? I made a promise to a friend I intend to keep. To someone who believed harmony between human and reploid was possible. I trust that friend. And I trust that the humans that friend trusts. I see. I couldn't even bring myself myself to trust Nage, even though she has always only told the truth. Ugh. Craft. Leave my body here. I can no longer face Nage. I don't want to cause her to suffer anymore. I will do as you asked. Zero. The humans, the reploids, the world, and Nage watch over them. Zero, respond. CL, I stopped Ragnarok. And Kraft? And Kraft. I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. Mission complete. I'm coming back. Just waiting for the achievement to pop up. There it is. Achievement unlocked. Crisis averted. Which you just get by beating Kraft. Cobor team here. Mission complete, CL. Ooh, that's a pretty gruesome image. The humans and reploids have been evacuated. Neo Arcadia was eradicated by Ragnarok's attack. There is nothing but a crater in the center where Wyle was. I doubt there were any survivors in that area. I see. Good work, everyone. Continues, continue to search for any survivors. Acknowledged. CL, are you okay? I'm okay, just a little tired. Incoming communication from an outside line. It's from the settlement, I'll, pi I'll patch it in. Zero. Nage. It was just like you said. It doesn't matter what I do. As long as I keep fighting, I'm no different from Wile. And I had to fight Kraft. No, Zero. Thank you for stopping Kraft. Ragnarok and Neo Arcadia are no more. Is it finally over? So many humans and reploids lost their lives. Zero. Did we do the right thing? What the... It fired again? We just destroyed it! How is that even possible? What was that? It came from Ragnarok. It's still operational. But Wyle and Kraft are gone. Who could be controlling it? Operator, send me back to Ragnarok. I can't. Only the control room is connected. There's protection around the circuit to the center. We can't transfer you from the access part in the trailer. Ragnarok is accelerating. And it's heading straight for... What's wrong? It's heading straight for Area Zero. Someone's trying to crash it. What? There's still some time before it touches down, but we can't disable the circuit protection from here. Isn't there something we can do? Zero, CL, you okay? Nage, Ragnarok is... I heard. I'm sending over some coordinates. You might be able to reach Ragnarok with these. What? Where do these go? To the teleporter base in Neo Arcadia. It was originally designed to transfer troops. It might have just enough power to get you over to Ragnarok. Coordinates received from the settlement. Inputting now. Zero. If that's our only chance, it's one I have to take. Coordinates to the teleporter base have been set. Transfer to teleporter base? No, not yet. All right, I'll add the base to the map. It's available whenever you are ready. And yes, as Mr. Bones said, Ragnarok's like a more deadly version of the Space Colony art from Sonic Adventure 2. That's a good comparison. Uh, I want to see if we can up, up, uh, update our elf a little bit. Come on, man! All right, so now we need to grind for crystals. I mean, I guess we could try and get the, the double jump chip as well. See if we can get it. What do we need for the double jump chip? Let me find out. Uh, hang on. Nope, not that. Uh, I need to find out what the, um, what the chip manufacturing thing is. Like, how do you manufacture a double jump chip? Hold on. Okay, double jump. We need a C hopper, a gyro cannon, H, a ganga gun, and a fate teal. I know for a fact we don't have a fate teal, but let's see if we have anything else. All right, so do we have a C-Hopper? We do have a C-Hopper. Do we have Gyro Cannon H? Yes. 
Do we have a Ganga gun? Yes. So literally the only thing we're missing is a Fate Teal. Okay. Well, that's annoying. We can we can just go back to Heat Gemblem stage, thankfully. So we'll we'll do that, and hopefully we can grind some E crystals as well, because we definitely need to uh, need to get some more health. So let's save the game. We're getting close to the end of the game, my friends. We're getting very very close. All right. Talk to who? Operator. All right. So as you can see, we have a new area on our map now. The uh, teleporter base. And yeah, we had Ragnarok control before, but uh, yeah, if we want to continue the story, we go to the teleporter base. But for now, we're going to go to, um, what is it? Artificial Sun, I think, was Heat Gemblem's stage. Let me, let me double check. Hang on. I want to say it was Artificial Sun, but I want to double check so I don't get this wrong. Hold on. It's the cannon stage. Oh, okay. Hold on. Top right. All right, so particle beam. Let's go to the area. So yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of grinding before we end the game off, and then uh, then we'll head to the end stages because the teleporter circuit is the first of the last two stages. All right, so we need a fate teal. So let's see if we can grab one. We're also gonna need to. We're also going to need to uh, deal with the fact that our, one of our sub tanks is empty, which isn't good. X8 flashbacks. It's not going to be that bad, don't worry. Dang it. Ugh. We need a fate heal. I'll take that. That's useful. I also need E-Crystals, so... I forget the best place to grind for E-Crystals in this stage, but we'll find it. Right. Let's load the... Let's load this part. There's a beam walker, I guess. Come on. Come on, get off of me. This thing was so goddamn annoying. Ah. Ah, god dang it. I'm going to die to this stupid thing. Thank you. Get out of here. Mr. Bones says, uh, 0, 03 and 0, 04 pull off some of the best final bosses in the entire franchise. I would agree with that. I'm gonna load the save point. Oh, come on! This is gonna be annoying, isn't it? Here's, here's a fake teal. And I'm dead. Dang it. Ugh. Well, that'll be helpful for our, uh... That'll be helpful for our sub-tank, I guess. Alright, let's go up here. Hopefully this thing will give us no. I'll take that, though. Dang it. It's gonna be annoying to get a fake teal part, isn't it? Because I need to keep grinding these things. Give me that. Get over here. I, I want you to come over here. Uh. God damn it. It's gonna. I want that health, but I don't want to die. Thank you. Alright. Uh, Ninja587 says, Grind E crystals in Luna Edge's mini boss. Destroy the two middle things and the one on the left. Charge Buster and shoot the serpent gears. Oh, I remember that part. Yeah, we could, we could go there for E crystals. Yeah. All right, I want to see if we can get at least one more Fate Heal first, and then after that, we'll, uh, we'll go. There's also another, uh, health, health thing over here somewhere. Yeah, right over here. 
Alright. I want to see if I can get any more fake heals and then we'll uh, leave the stage. Any more? We are getting a couple of E-Crystals here, so it's not a complete waste. Nope. Alright, cool. Let's, uh... How many E-Crystals do we have? 650? Alright, I think we can just escape, yeah. Alright, so now we can, uh, get, get our next level, uh, Cyber Elf, thankfully. So let's go do that. Yep, Cyber Elf. There we go. Now we have 12 Vitality. Unfortunately, now we need a thousand E-Crystals. I forgot, um, how m we're gonna need a lot of E-Crystals for this, sadly. Uh, hopefully this isn't too bad. And let's, let's craft the double jump part as well. Hold on. Alright, so how do we get the double jump? Yeah, Alright, gotcha. So item recipes. Alright, so we need a Sea Hopper. A Gyro Cannon H. We need a Ganga Gun. And we need a Fate Heal. Nice, we got the double jump chip. We will, we will definitely be using that. The last one is 3,000 art. We won't go to the very last one, but I want to at least try to get the a decent amount of health. Is this full health, or is, is, or is the next one full health? All right, let's switch to the uh, double jump. Nice, now we can double jump. This will be, this will come in handy. All right, so now we're gonna head off, we're gonna save, and then we're gonna head to uh, the gear stage. Data storage, save data. Honestly, this will be this will be good. Qu get quick charge three. Eh, I don't really think I'm gonna need that one. If anything, it might be worthwhile to try and get more um, S crystals so we can get sub tanks from it. Because I don't. Because we might not even need the double the double HP if we get S crystals. All right. What do we need for S crystals? We would need fate teals and Ceratanium, which are both in heat gemblem stage. So we'd have to do that again. I know where the Ceratanium is, but getting Fate Teals is going to be a pain in the butt. How many, uh, alright, how many, how many Mecha Masons and V-Fires do we have? We have four Mecha Masons. And we have nine V-Fires. Alright, you know what? In that case, I have a better idea. Instead of trying to grind for E-Crystals, let's go back to Heat Gemblem stage and grab two more Fate Teals and two more Cerataniums. So we can get two more ES Crystals, so we can get the, uh, sub-tanks. I know that's a lot of sows, but that'll uh, come in handy. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna have to basically make two more trips to this stage. Oh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bones, we didn't highlight my message. It says you'll have a great time with ZX. Next up, game was fantastic and has some cool bonuses. Absolutely, I'm really looking forward to playing uh, ZX. All right, at least I'm back to full health with my uh, sub tanks. That's nice. You can get Ceratanium pretty easily in Mandrago stage. All right. You'll have to tell me where that is, but I'll, I'll take your word for it. Because uh, we, de we definitely need Fate Heals in this stage. Hopefully we can grind them out, because that would otherwise be really annoying. All right. Alright, come on. That. Alright, here comes this stupid boss. Dang it! Ah, I hate this guy. Nope, stop! Ah, god damn it, this guy is so annoying. Ah, I'm gonna Damn it! Ah Mr. Bones says the first ZX is also aged very well graphically, especially considering this very on in the uh, early on in the DS's lifespan. That's very true. God dang it! Please die.
That is so annoying. Come on. Thank you, get out of here. All right, so now we need two more Fate Teals, and I know where one of the Ceritaniums is. Hey, Shivas, we're doing okay. We completed the eight Maverick, or keep calling them Maverick, eight Mutos Reploid stages. And at this point, well, this is gonna go terribly. I'm just looking to get a Fate Teal. Which is what, which is basically these guys. I need to get two of these guys. Can I off-screen them? I'm actually curious about that. Hold on. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, oh geez, go back, go back, go back. Zero, where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? Crap, wrong franchise with blue protagonist. That's funny. All right. Yeah, I wanna see if I can off-screen the Fate Teal. Okay, so I can off-screen this guy. Please give me an S one of your parts. Please. Well, an S crystal, uh, crystal's better than nothing, I guess. One of these guys should be able to give me a freaking Fate Teal part. Come on. No? You can grind Fate Teals next to the checkpoint under the laser. I know, that's what I'm trying to do. They're not giving me the parts, though. Okay, Shivas Redeem ban an in-game action with a very interesting challenge. I am no longer allowed to use the regular screen filter for the next five minutes. So, as a result, I will instead not be using the stupid smooth pixels filter, and I will use the CRT. This filter looks like garbage. We're using the, uh... We're using the, uh... The, uh, CRT filter starting now for five minutes. I mean, yeah, I'll give him credit. That's actually pretty interesting, damn it. All right, I need to head back to the checkpoint, like, now. Dang it. That's, that's a good challenge, Shivas. I like that. That's very creative. Uh, I need, again, I'm gonna need two Fate Teals, so this might take me a hot minute. Oh, jeez, I am not looking forward to that. Divis is chaotic evil confirmed. Nice. Alright, please give me a Fate Teal part, please. Thank you! Alright, so now I need another one. To get two more S Crystals, basically. Alright. There we go. Once I get the last Fateel part, we'll be able to just move on to, um, what's it? Uh, Noble Mandrago stage to grab the Ceritanium. Okay. I'll give, I'll give you credit, Shivis. I actually really like that. What? It didn't even kill the stupid thing. Oh, great. Hold on. Up here we go. Stop not killing the stupid Fateels. Well, at least I got I got some energy. That's nice. Hold on, give me that. Ah, dang it! That's annoying. Mr. Bones, Redeem Highland messages. I wish the the crafting system was explained better. I was lost as hell in my first playthrough. I definitely agree that is one of this game's shortcomings. They did not do a good job of explaining the crafting system at all. That's not the thing I need. I don't need V-Fires. I need... I need, uh, S-Crystals. <laughs> the smoothing filter will be next. Oh, God. Can you give me the freaking... Oh, my... All right, I can use the double jump now, so that this, that makes getting the Ceritanium easier. I forgot I have the double jump. Huh. All right, let's go over here. All right, will this Fateel give me, give me its part, please? 
You can do- No? Oh my god, this is annoying. Will you give me your part? Please. Nope. Will you give me your part? No! And that's the end, so now we gotta go back. Oh my lord, this is ridiculous. I need to freaking Give me your dang part, please. I am begging you. Alright, come on. Why will you not? Oh my. This is this is actually getting a little frustrating. It won't give me the freaking faith. Oh my. These things like don't give me their parts for some reason. Oh my, at least I got that. That'll be useful for something else. I'm okay, I can at least farm here. I can just off screen this guy and then. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you. Now I can exit the stupid stage. That took too long. All right, welcome back. All right, let me talk to CL so I can save the game. I will admit the game does look pretty nice with the CRT filter. I'll, I'll give him credit. I'll give I'll give him credit. All right, so now we go to um, what is it? Um. Uh, Nobleman Drago stage, which is... Ooh, I also forgot which one that is. I want to say it's the Hanging Gardens. Oh, and time's up. I can go back to the regular filter now. Alright. Hold on. Which one was, uh... Mandrago? Crap. Um... Was it Hanging Gardens? I feel like it was. I'm gonna go to the Hanging Gardens. And if it's not, I can just reload my save file, I guess. Or just e escape, really. Man, Jay goes next to Gamble. Oh, so I went to the wrong one. All right, this is freaking Pegasulta Eclair's stage. I'm stupid. Hold on. Escape. At least there's no penalty for escaping or whatever. All right. Operator. Yeah, yeah, I know. Here we go, Underground Forest. This is the right one. All right, let's see if we can get another Ceratanium, because apparently they're pretty common in this stage. So if I can get just one, that's fine. What drops Ceratanium, though? I don't know. Oh, okay. Noted. All right, I want the Z-Knuckle for this. All right, so... Nope, Z-Knuckle. Right, so let me rip these off. This is also a good place to get a uh, sub tank energy. Now that I think about it, when I when I actually get the two sub tanks, yeah, this should be a good place to get sub tank energy. Now that I think about it, actually, I want to go down here. All right, Let's see. I love how you can pluck those guys off. That's awesome. Give me that. Ow. In the door. All right, mid-boss time. Dang it. Dang it. There we go. Mid boss isn't so difficult now that I have this stuff. All right. Keep wall jumping on the left wall down this vertical shaft. Gotcha. Whoa. 
What? But I did that and I didn't find it. Keep jumping on the left wall down this vertical shaft. I'm doing that. Where? Bottom left. I'm stupid. Hold on. Keep wall jumping. Zero's least favorite 3D game is Minecraft, according to Mr. Bones. Very clever. What, here? What, can you break this off? Oh. Oh, you can... Okay. Fair enough. Thanks. Appreciate it. Alright, so now we can go back. We can escape. I, didn't, I never knew you could break that, huh? Learn something new every day. All right, so now we need to we need to create uh, two more S crystals. All right, so yeah, S crystal. And we're good. And now we need to basically get our other two sub tanks. How many uh, crystals do we have? 338, that's not great. All right, um, let's see. I think it's in here. Yeah. Hey there, Zero. What's up? Is that an S crystal you've got there? That's a real beauty. I'll trade you for a sub tank. If you have any more, let me know. So yeah, now we get a sub tank. And if we talk to him again, hey there, Zero. Got another S crystal? I'll trade you for one of my sub tanks. That's the last of them. Use them well. So yes, now we have all four sub tanks in the game. Uh, I don't know where to where to fill them, but I, I mean, I guess Noble Mandrago stage is not a terrible way to refill them. Although neither is um, Heat Gemblem stage for that matter. Still don't have enough to upgrade our elf. I want to upgrade our elf one more time before we head to the last few stages. Your pun level is Omega. Wow. That is, hmm, that's, that's a pun all right. All right, so now we have two directives. We need to try and get a thousand S crystals, which I guess we can do in uh, Fenry Luna Edges stage. And we also need to fill up our sub tanks, but I think filling up our sub tanks is a little more important. So let's let's head back to Mandrago stage because I remember there was a good place to do that. But nope, I want to talk to the operator. Operator, uh, nope. Uh, underground forest. So let's let's transfer back to here. Let's fill up our sub tanks, and then we're gonna try and grind for S crystals so we can head to the end of the game. I'm just really worried about Doctor Wild because Doctor Wild's a really hard boss. Well, spoiler alert, I guess, but yes, the final boss of this game is really difficult. You can refill during Luna Edge's boss. Oh, you can? I mean, if that's if I, that's assuming I don't get hit, that is. Let me at least go get this really easy one first. There's an easy place to go right here. Oh, come on, I just ruined it. Ugh, that's aggravating. All right, well, can I can I get to the other? Hold on. Nope. All right, so I think it's up here is the other easy part. Is the other easy place? Yep, there we go. Yeah, that, that, that's an easy place we can go to. Um... Dang it! I just messed it up. Let's try that again. You can just. All right, fair enough. We'll try that in a minute. Let me at least grab this, because this part, this is really easy. Yep, escape. All right, so let's head to Fendi, let's, let's head to Fendi Luna Edge's stage to grind a little bit. Um, that was Hibernation Chamber, I think. All right. There we go. All right, let's go. Yep, hibernation chamber. Take that. Oh, there's some there's some uh, health over there. Interesting. Nope, do not. Thank you. Some health over here. Thank you very much. Oh come on! How was I supposed to know that was gonna happen? All right, but we can't go down there, obviously, since there's snow covering the area. 
But I guess we can go in there. That's nice. So I guess we'll see the other part of the stage that we didn't see before. All right, so let's head to the boss. Gotcha. That was pretty slick, I like that. Oh, I guess I should show a cool Easter egg in this part. So you see that pipe right here? It looks like it's part of the background. You can actually grab it and use it to your advantage. I posted a clip on Twitter a while back beating Fenry Luna Edge with the, with the pipe. It's, bas it's basically a callback to uh, Mega Man X4 with how Zero used a pipe in order to um, defeat Sigma well, back when he was, you know, evil or when he was a maverick. You know, as programmed by Dr. Wily. So that's a, that's a cool Easter egg, I guess. So I guess I get to show that off. All right, so what is it? It's, um, this is a mini boss. Destroy the middle things, then destroy the thing on the left, then fire the charge buster. All right, so I guess I'll, um, hmm. So destroy the middle things, destroy the thing on the left. So yeah, you can do this. So what, then destroy this, basically? I guess then destroy this. Have one, at least one alive. Yeah, I think I know where you're going with this. And then now I use the buster. I think I know where you're going with this, yeah. Yep, do that. I guess this is a decent way to grind for for crystals, sure. Although I don't, I don't know if they drop crystals. So far they've only been dropping gears. Yeah, I, they haven't, now we wait. They do? All right, I trust you on that one. So far they haven't been dropping anything. Oh wait, I just realized something. Shouldn't I change my elf around a little bit? No, that's not it. Nope, all right, I guess we don't have the elf for that. Whoops. All right, hang on. I'm gonna get a lot of serpent gears from this. I have a theory regarding Omega. He's the Maverick program that Wily created and made Zero go on a rampage in X5. Eventually, he festered into becoming sentient, a clone, and uh, becoming sentient in Zero 3 thanks to Wile. Level 5 hacker increases. Well, we don't have level 5 is the problem, so. We're gonna need to, we're gonna need to upgrade that, but I guess we can come back here after we get level 5. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting anything from this. Are you sure we don't need to get level 5 hacker first? Because I feel like we do. Because I'm literally only getting serpent gears. I, I think we need to have level 5 hacker first. Or at least that's what it seems like. I mean, I'm at least glad we have all four sub tanks. I think we do need level 5. How many S crystals do we have? 414? Uh... Well, we got a decent amount by going to Mandrago stage, so we can try that again. All right, so let's let's head back to Mandrago stage because that seemed to help. Uh, change the weather. Because I, I saw there was an area up there that we could get like sixty crystals or whatever. We could probably do that. So let's do this one or two times and see if we can get uh, enough crystals. All right. Also, it'll be nice to uh, try and fill up our sub tanks a little bit more. All right, see what we can do. Oh, come on. Like there, there's an example of a crystal that we can get. And more crystals. Let me switch to the buster. 
Yeah, once we get level 5 hacker, we can do the Luna Edge grinding. Good point. Alright, let's see. Uh, no, I don't want that. Alright. Alright. Okay, so now we go up here. And we have full sub tanks. Nice. Then we can go back down here. And do that. Like, that's a pretty easy way of, uh, you know, grinding out crystals, I guess. Alright, so now we have 506. Not bad. Wonder what's in this one. Since we, now I know I can wall jump this. Wonder what's over here. An extra life. Very helpful game. Alright, so let's do let's do like a couple runs through the stage and see what we can get. We're gonna have to do this stupid boss again, but whatever. Or mid boss. Move, move, okay. Move. There we go, get out of here. You drop anything? No. Alright, come on. This isn't a terrible way to grind, actually, to be fair. I didn't want to do that. Ugh, all right. Yeah, once we get level five hacker, we should be able. Although to be fair, once we get level five, once we get, come on. Once we get level five, I don't think I don't think I don't think I'm gonna go for level six honestly. Like it doesn't feel like it's worth it. I don't know. Just I, I have a feeling we won't, we won't need level six. Oh come on, game. Are you serious? Give me that. Nope. There. There. Level 6 gives you more health. I don't think I need... I think that just gives me double health, honestly. Which I don't particularly need now that I have four sub-tanks. I'll take that. Ugh, dang it, I want to go up there, because there's some more S-Crystals up there. They're not S-Crystals. Okay, I, I can just double jump up there. Never mind. Like, look at that. We already have 610. Not bad. We're, we're getting a lot of Crystals with this. Alright, see what's over here. Oh, just this? Okay. Six makes your elf drop health. Okay, so yeah, we definitely don't need that. The, the next level we get should be fine. Plus, we have full sub-tank energy now, so... Alright. Six makes your elf drop. Seven gives you double health. Alright, so we, we don't need that. And yeah, now I just teleport out, so... Alright, cut. Couple more runs of that, and we should be able to get the next level of elf. And once we get that, we will head to the, uh, we'll head to the, what's it? The, um, once we get that, we'll just head off to the, um, the final stages. Because I think with four sub tanks, we'll be fine. The final boss is difficult, but not that difficult. We don't need double health and four sub tanks. I just want to make sure we're we're really prepared for this because it, it it is pretty difficult. It's not it's not the hardest boss ever, but it's it's pretty difficult. That's true. I could do that as well. Okay, right, down here. Right. One of these guys. Don't need you. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's true, Mr. Bones. Uh, Mr. Bones suggests we grab an a we, we grab an axe from one of the robots to use against Dr. Wild. And that is very, very true. The axe robots are super duper useful. Actually, I want to go back down here for this because there's some more over here. Okay. Alright, come on. And up here. Dang it. Well, that's kind of helpful, I guess. Thank you. I'd right, we'll have to face this mini boss a couple more times, but it's whatever. We're getting close to a thousand at least, so that's good. There we go. All right. Almost there, guys, almost there. There. Nope, down here. Through here. And then... Hold on, I don't want to go up there. All oh, right, I can just double jump up here. I keep forgetting about that. How many are we at now? 766, all right. And then I think the rest of the stage is just, yeah. At least we got that, I guess. Wait, what's up here? Is there anything up here? All right, oh, down there is just health, so. All right, now's a good time where we can escape. Yeah, let's escape. There's not, there's not much S crystals over... I keep saying S crystals. There's not that many E crystals over there. All right. Sorry about the grind, by the way, but it is what it is. We're almost there anyway. We're over three quarters of the way there, as a matter of fact. I guess what we could do is we could grind the beginning of this stage, and that might take less time overall, because we don't have to deal with the mid-boss. I can try that. I do almost wonder if grinding the beginning of the stage with that with that part at the beginning will be easier. Or at least will require less, uh, okay, hold on. Cause yeah, right over here is like, what, 100? Cause that gives you 810, yeah. And then the, with, with, the, with, the S, with the E crystals up there, that, that's a re that might actually give me 100, hold on. Yeah, we're already at 858, and then this will be 860, and before we had like eight, like 700, so this this is actually faster. Just do this. If you guys have any questions, by the way, now is the time, I suppose, since we are just grinding. All right. We're at 868, so we're, we're almost there. We're almost there. One or two more trips, and we'll be, uh, we'll be able to upgrade our elf and be done with it. And head off to the last few stages. Alright. I'm just gonna skip past the grunts for now. There's no point in uh fighting them. Just skip past these guys. Give me that. And if you guys have any questions about like Mega Man or whatever, or like just about me in general, good time to ask. We're not doing much right now. I actually want to go down here first. Cool, we're at 950, so one more trip will do. Actually, we could probably get, now that I think about it, we could actually get the remaining E-Crystals in this stage, probably. So let's actually go through the rest of the stage for this. Because we're only, we're only 50 off. I have a feeling there's, there's, there's more than 50 uh, in this stage, so remaining in the stage. Will we do Battle Network once a Legacy Collection is announced? Absolutely, 100% yes. We will be doing, as the Mega Man Legacy Collections come out, we will be doing all, all of the games in the series. I just want to wait until the Battle Network or Collection comes out to do Battle Network because of the achievements and whatnot. Like, I'm waiting for Legacy Collections to come out because obviously one of my main things is I do 100% achievement runs, so... There's not really a point to me repeating all that if I, you know, do it without the Steam achievements and whatnot. 
<laughs> so there's gonna be one right over there. And I'm dead. Battle Network 4, 100%. Chivas, please do not remind me. I know, that is going to suck a lot. I, oof, I'm not looking forward to that, that's for sure. Whoops, all right, and then last part is right over here. Up here. Is that enough? Yes, it's enough. So yeah, there we go, 1,010. So now we can upgrade the elf one more time and we'll be on our merry way. Sorry about the uh, bit of a delay, about the delay there. Elf and evolve elf, cool. Now we have 16 vitality, which is normally, which is basically one full health bar. That's definitely enough. With four sub tanks, we will not have a problem. So I talked to CL, data storage, save the game. And let's keep going. All right, so talk to operator. And let's head off to the one of the last stages of the game. We have the teleporter base. I put in the coordinates for the teleporter base. This mission? Yes. All right, ready for transfer. Transfer. Zero, come back to us. Yeah, I should have no trouble with a full HP bar and, and four sub tanks. I skipped what they said, but basically what they're saying is we, we need to find the coordinates so you're gonna have to disable the base's protection. You can disable it by pulling all of the switches at the end of the hallways. Sorry I skipped past that by accident, but basically this stage is split into four, north, south, east, west. We go through each of the four sections. And, and we disable the, um, hold on. We basically disable the, each of the sections and that's that. This part can be a little annoying because we have to use these stupid bomb things that are in like every zero game to destroy the floor beneath us. This, this part can be a little annoying. There we go. God damn it. I'll take that, I guess. The telly bombs. Oh, well, that, actually, that makes sense because these guys are class are basically tellies from the classic series. Hey, more you. All right. Dang it. This part is a little tedious. Chevis Redeem, ban an in-game action. Don't use any other filter besides the smoothing filter. Well, now I have to use the smoothing filter. You know what? Ninja587 is right. You are evil, Chivas. You are actually evil. Oh, this looks so bad. Why must you do this to me? Why? This is... Oh, this looks terrible. My eyes are going to puke for the next five minutes. I completely agree with you, man. This looks so terrible. Oh, wait, I want what's up there. If they could. Ow. Okay, never mind. Oh, yeah, Kappa. Man, that, that makes me feel a lot better about myself. Three left. So, yeah, we pulled out that one. Now we need to go back up and pull out the other ones. Thank God for the double jump chip. This will, this will come in handy. There. You normally do the stage left, down, right, up. Fair enough. I guess we can do left next. Sure. Left. It doesn't really matter what order you do them in. It's pretty much the same, same amount of time either way. But, I mean, if you want to do it... If you want to do it that in that order, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. Ow! I just... I hate how Zero looks, especially. Zero looks so derpy with the freaking smoothing filter. Ah, it bothers me so much. Yo? Two left. Pull all the switches. Just 
watch out for those things in the lava, because the lava is instant death, just like you would expect from any other Mega Man game. Go. Now we go up. Go. His ponytail looks like a macaroni noodle smoothed out. That is... That is one of the funniest things I've heard all week. Again, his ponytail looks like a macaroni noodle smoothed out. That is that is definitely a clip-worthy uh, post right there. N nice one, Mr. Bones. I, I'll, I'll give you credit for that. That is amazing. Oh my god. If anyone says they want to eat Zero's hair now, I swear to God. Last one left. Pull that switch. I'm so busy focusing on freaking Zero's macaroni noodle hair that I didn't even read the damn text. Oh my God. The zero banana hair edits? Oh god. I've seen those. They're terrifying. Whereas someone edits zero's hair to look like a banana. Or a ban- I just like pronouncing banana like that. Don't mind me. There we go. I don't eat macaroni. I just ate. So no eating for me. <laughs> and here's the last switch. Protection. Disabled. I'll input the- Coordinates. 112 is British now. Uh, my British accent is pretty terrible, and if, if there's any actual British people who are watching my uh, my streams, I apologize for pronouncing banana that way. If it is offensive, I don't know. I just I just find that pronunciation hilarious. New game. What food can you see in Zero's hair? Well, we've already established bananas and macaroni and cheese, so or at least macaroni. Well, here's our boss fight. Uh, I forgot its name, actually. I'll have to double check this. I'll double check it as soon as we, uh... I'm gonna die, obviously, because I do not have enough health for this. Pasta. Fries. Oh, gee, Chivas is just rattling off things that look like Zero's hair now. This... Oh, boy. This is gonna be quite the stream. His net Navi counterpart is a cheese hair cape. Wow. Oh, thank God. I can turn off the stupid filter. Also, what is his boss called? Hold on. Oh yeah, I think it is in reference to Rang da Bangda from Mega Man X and Mega Man X5. I think you're absolutely right. I just forgot its name. Hold on. It's called Random Bandom. So yes, you are you are correct. So Random Bandom is apparently its name. Alright. Alright. Alright, I gotta destroy these things. Come on. Come on, get out of here. Come on. I'm a little worried about my health. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh, great. This is gonna be a pain. I might have to use a sub tank here. Cause I am not doing well on health. 
Please, no! The wheel gator meme I sent a while back, comedy gold, that's true. Oh, this is, that was painful. All right, let's try that again. That was painful, I was so close. All right, random bandom, you won't defeat me this time. Charge. Ah. Dang it! Dodging that attack is really annoying. At least this attack is pretty easy. It sounds like he cackles at zero. Well, he did have voice acting, basically, or like digitized voice acting. Come on. Come on. Oh, great, not this. Ugh, dang it. All right, come on. Got it close to death. Oh, not this. Uh, okay, actually, this part's pretty easy, so let me just defeat this. Come on, just please die. So close. One more. Oh, wait, hold on. Get out of here. Whew, that was close. There's random bandom. I don't care about rank. We're still getting B rank somehow. I don't know how that makes sense. Inputting coordinates. Done. Now you can reach the Ragnarok, so get back here ASAP. And I will definitely hydrate after that. Whew. Transferring in two, one. Welcome back. Thanks to you, we secured access to the teleporter circuit. We still have to bypass the protection surrounding Ragnarok, but I've got an idea. Let's continue with the next mission when you're ready. All right. All right, so save game. Go. And nice, okay. So let's continue with the game. Next fortress stage, the teleporter circuit. We already defeated the teleporter base. Start the mission. Using the teleporter base, we can transfer you to Ragnarok, but you'll have to disable the protection around Ragnarok on your own. How do I do that? I can help there. Whenever we transfer you somewhere, we transform you into, into program data and send you over a circuit. I can modify the transfer program to allow you to move freely inside of a circuit. It superimposes visuals in the circuit so you can tell what's going on. That way you can navigate from the teleporter base to Ragnarok via something akin to cyberspace. If you head towards the end of the circuit, you should be able to directly disable the protection program. With that out of the way, you should be able to finish transferring over. Start this mission? Yes. I don't know, Mr. Bones, it's a good question. All right, ready for transfer. Transfer. I quite, this is probably one of my more favorite stages in the game. Zero, come back to us. This stage is really fun. The teleporter circuit. So this is the inside of the teleporter circuit. It looks a lot like cyberspace. Zero, come in. The circuit leads to Ragnarok. It looks like the enemy is there too. Destroy the protection program up ahead. So yes, welcome to not cyberspace, basically, as uh, CL said. Also, Metars. Lots and lots of Metars. This stage is really fun, though. I actually quite like it. Very fun to speedrun, which, we'll, which, we'll, which you'll discover that we'll be doing soon when we get to Z Chaser. Get out of here, Metar. We'll definitely be doing. We'll be doing this a lot faster when we do the speed runs. All right. All right. Well, to be fair, when we do the speed runs, we'll also have double double uh, health. 
which for a reason you'll see later. Over here. So glad we... Alright, so here we go. I love the look of this place. Is this cyberspace? Yes, but actually no. Accurate. Alright, so now we're... Now, if you thought it looked like cyberspace before, you ain't seen nothing yet. Alright, this part can be really annoying, as you can see by that. Whoops. Let's try that again. Right. This part you have to be pretty careful about. We're gonna have to use these platforms to... Oh, jeez. No! We have to use these platforms to hang from the wall. Now these things are gonna basically... Oh, jeez, 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 jeez. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. These are, these things are gonna um, electrocute or send out electric sparks from the wall. Um, you know what? Let's just load from assist at this point. There's no way we're gonna beat the boss with that little help. Also, by the way, huge refractor crystals in the hallway. Please take them. We need to upgrade the shining laser from Mega Man Legends. Oh man, if only we had the shining laser in this game. This is the protection program. Beep, beep, circuit intrusion detected. Protection activated, eliminating intruder. So anyways, I remember this guy's name. This guy's name is Cyball. He's pretty easy, all things considered. Just take your time is all. All right, now he's gonna do this. Yeah, like I said, all you need to do is just basically play it a little safe. Just be careful and you'll be fine. Almost got him. So. And dead. Yeah, Cyball is very, very easy. Goodbye. Three more hits. No, he's dead. <laughs> there we go. How am I still getting B ranks? I don't understand that. Protection has been disabled. You can head to Ragnarok anytime now. Zero, hurry back. All right, so now we have access to the last stage in the game, basically. Transferring in two, one. Welcome back. Definitely hydrate. If we don't stop Ragnarok, area zero is done for. Ugh. Sorry about that. And the last of nature goes with it. You can't fail. The world is counting on you. And make sure you come back, okay? Alright, so let's save our game for the last time. This is upcoming coming up is the last stage in the game. I'm curious if we'll be able to beat this before two hours in the uh, in the in-game time. Does the Z Saber have similar properties to lightsabers from Star Wars? Um I uh, I guess it's somewhat comparable but lightsabers are lightsabers are made up of concentrated energy that comes from a kyber crystal and the crystal basically is is put in a lightsaber and then it shoots out of the lightsaber when you press the button like it releases the energy up or if you if you're darth maul and have a double bladed lightsaber then it shoots both directions or if you're kylo ren then it shoots in three direct you get my point but um, that's how lightsabers work in, um, in, in Star Wars. I don't think that's quite how it works in Zero. I don't think there's, like, a crystal in the, in the saber that shoots out concentrated energy. I actually don't know how it works. They never really explain how the Z-saber works. But I could probably look it up. I'd be down to do a discussion after we finish the game. Well, we'll see how it goes. I'm actually not sure if that's how it works in Mega Man Zero. I guess that's something I know a little more about Star Wars than in Mega Man, in, which is weird. These are the areas you can go to. So yes, here's our final stage. Ragnarok Core. Mission, stop the core. It's finally time for Ragnarok. I'll transfer you inside. Try to find a way to disable Ragnarok's core without destroying it. If the core is destroyed, Ragnarok may break apart. 
With both Wild and Craft gone, who could still be running Ragnarok? Zero, I have a bad feeling about this. I was literally talking about Star Wars like five seconds ago, and now we have, I'm screenshotting this. We have, I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh, I guess today is May the 26th, which is the day I'm recording this, instead of May the 4th. Is today like May the 4th, the second or something like that? It's just, I don't know. This is just huge coincidence. Just be careful, okay? All right. This mission, yes. <laughs> now you imagine Wild going, UNLIMITED POWER! <laughs> yeah, like Darth Sidious. All right, ready for transfer. Transfer. Zero! Honestly, at this point, I'm, I'm legitimately considering renaming this episode, like, Mega, like, Star Mega or something like that, or Star Zero, or Darth Zero. I don't know, this, I'm, that actually sounds like a better name than what I put. Uh, Zero, this isn't good. Ragnarok is speeding up. If you can halt the core now, you might still be able to stop it. Hurry. Zero Wars? I could try that, yeah. So yeah, final stage, Ragnarok Core. This stage is pretty difficult, all things considered. You're definitely gonna need to use all the skills that you've learned up to this point, but it's a, it's definitely a fun stage. All right, let's see what we can do. I love the backdrop on this. With with uh, space, uh, with, with space and everything. All right. Hold on, I want that crystal. Ow. Come on, stop it. Stop it! Alright. We're in space. This means this is Star Wars. Oh my god. The Star Wars references, they won't end! Alright. Oh, don't freeze me! I'm not in a freaking whatever, whatever those hibernation chambers were called in our... Uh, uh, Empire Strikes Back. I forget what those are called off the top of my head, but you know what I'm talking about. The one that hung... Carbonite! That's what it's called. Don't freeze me in Carbonite. Alright, well, as is Mega Man tradition, time for the boss rush. Nobody is forcing you to read these? Oh, God. Ragnarok is the seed of destruction which will ripen and fall from space, carrying with it the end of this world. It's perfectly natural. Everything on this earth was born doomed. Oh, really, Noble Man Drago? Well, prepare to die. Okay. Don't heal yourself. That's not that's not cool. Stop healing yourself. Stop. Oh my god. All right, I forgot I can use the uh, knuckle for this. You don't know anything. Oh, I wasn't expecting that, but okay. No, impossible. I won't be able to witness the descent of Ragnarok. I will try to enjoy this final glimpse of the world before it ends. Uh, Shivis, what you need to know about Star Wars is shooty shooty bang bang shing lightsaber. Um, what am, what am I missing? Uh, I am your father. There is, there is always two, a master and an apprentice. Uh, hello there, I have the high ground. Uh, only a Sith deals in absolutes, you underestimate my power. Evil men in black robes, as, as Mr. Bones said. Um, space, that's that's a very important part of Star Wars. I'm missing quotes here. Uh, as I said earlier, unlimited power! Yes, sand. I, I hate sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. Etc, etc. I'm sure there are other people who can rattle. Oh, perhaps the archives are incomplete. I'm sure your clone army is very impressive, etc. Anyways, hi, Fenry Luna Edge. Yo, looks like our favorite hero is in a hurry. Don't be in such a rush. Stay with me and watch the end of the world unfold. And yes, big, big super weapon destroying the planet, a.k.a. the Death Star, a.k.a. Ragnarok. Crap, there are so many Star Wars references. How am I able to make so many of these? This is ridiculous. Yes, very similar to the Death Egg. Get out of here. He he, you're really tough when you put your mind to it. Your little victory won't stop Ragnarok. I'll be waiting to fight you again on the other side. Grr. 
Also, Darth Vader's Luke's father. Spoiler alert. That's like the, the ultimate spoiler. This is outrageous. It's unfair. Oh, man. I love all the prequel memes. Prequel memes are amazing. And yes, Vile looks similar to Boba Fett. Hello, Pegaselta Eclair. The satellites falling from the sky are like the Maverick Wars all over again. It really is the Rag Ragnarok, the end of the world. You stand on the threshold of your annihilation. And there he's referencing Eurasia crashing in Mega Man X5. This game really likes referencing Mega Man X5. The prequel trilogy, ooh, that, that, that's, an, that's certainly an opinion. I would, all right, so I guess that this, I guess this is a slightly hot take. I, I, I would call this lukewarm personally. Um, I like watching the prequel trilogy purely for the meme value. The me, the prequel memes are so good. Like, I, 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 I'm not kidding. I freaking love prequel memes. They're one of my fav favorite types of memes in general. I would say they're top five, top three even for sure. Where the hell did you go? There we go. Dang it. How do I keep mi- oh, I keep missing. I unironically love the prequels. The prequels do actually have their value. Like, they- Some of them are legit- Like, okay, Revenge of the Sith is a legitimately good movie. I think all of us can agree on that. But I do actually see value in the other two as well. They're not- amazing movies especially attack of the clones has a lot of problems and phantom menace is too much um what's it too much politics not enough war i mean it's called star wars after all well why why struggle when you know ragnarok will bring about your destruction grog sequel trilogy is probably the worst trilogy of the trilogies which sounds weird but you know what i mean there's nine movies I wouldn't call it outright bad, but it's they're compared to the other two, yeah, they're not great. Phantom Menace is a six out of ten, not enough pod racing. Kyahaha, <laughs> are you in a rush? Anyways, hi Soul Titanian. It doesn't matter, it's already way too late. You've got a date with some fire. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, time for my least favorite boss in this game. Soul Titanian again. Really do not like this boss. Ow. <laughs> Once you get out of here. Wait for it. Come on. If I ever do a speed run in this game, I'm doing her first, just so she isn't super annoying. Get out of here. Is this Boktai? Good guess, but no. How can you be so calm? The world is ending. Sorry, I got something in my nose. You should be worried and sweating all over. You'll be blown away by Ragnarok. Kya ha 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 ha. I don't think robots can sweat, Soul Titanian. I don't know. That's a question to ask Dr. Kane. I mean, he's dead, but you know what I mean. All right, let's continue with our uh, boss rush. Who's next? Ah, Papla Kokopetri. Left like this, we're both gonna meet our ends by slamming into the ground below. I'd hate to let the ground get to you first when I could have the pleasure of crushing you myself. Kya kya! As Anakin Skywalker said, I'll try spinning, that's a cool trick. This is gonna be the, the episode of Star Wars references, I swear to God. Dang it, I'm frozen. How, how could this be happening? Why did I have to taste defeat at the hands of someone like you? Unbelievable, simply unbelievable. All right, next one. All right, who's next? Ah, Tech Kraken. It looks like even death is too good for me. 
Death is the defining moment for a warrior. I will not lose to you. Zero, if you want to stop Ragnarok, you will have to stop me. If you can't beat me, how can you protect the world? Show me the power that was able to defeat Phantom. Star Wars references will decide your fate. I am the Star Wars references. I love that, Ninja. Oh, dang it. The Complete Saga? I don't think Complete Saga was on GameCube. I thought that was like a Wii game. Oh, come on. Stop doing this attack. This attack is just annoying. Alright, wait for it. Whoops. I guess the quick charge could have been a little helpful. Now that now upon further reflection. But oh well. It's not necessary to beat the game in my opinion. Get out of here. Grog! There, that's it. Good go. There's no need to see my pathetic death. Go, Zero! Hey, at the very least, Tech Kraken is encouraging us. That's nice, because remember, we the only reason he became an Ein an, 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 an Einher jar is because he is because he wanted revenge on us for defeating Phantom. Alright, next boss refight. Ah, Heat Gemblem. Intruder sighted. You defeated Commander Kraft. You? I will rid I will rid this world of your presence. Oh, that's really unfortunate, Shivas. I'm sorry. I think I might like the Empire too much. Looks to my Darth Vader action figures, Stormtrooper figures, and Lego Stormtroopers. Sounds like Maverick talked to me. Oh, great. Shoryuken! I mean, it probably is a Shoryuken, to be fair. Alright, I might actually lose the Heat Gemblem. I'm not doing too great. Nope, don't sure you can me. Don't sure you can me. Nope. There we go. What did Kraft entrust to you? The future of the foolish human race? C Commander! You got a giant AT-AT? -AT? That's pretty cool. That's like two or three feet tall. Wow, that's actually kind of awesome. All right. Down here. And last boss of the boss rush. All right, Mino Magnus, roar! This time, I will crush you. With you gone, Ragnarok will destroy the world. Mr. Bones, if we were only Reploids, then X and Zero would be our only hope. Ah, I see what you did there. And Area Zero will be two, then... Sorry, I don't have time for this. Get out of my way. Roar! I'm with you, Zero. Mino Magnus talks way too slowly. Alright. Ow! He also hits like a truck. I mean, he is, you know, look at how big he is. That makes sense. Alright, stop hitting me. Oh, great. Uh-oh! Crap, 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 crap. I'm dead. Let's try that again. Yeah, De definitely uh, ping me with that picture, Ninja. I'm curious. All right, let's try that again, because I was too focused on Star Wars to defeat Mino Magnus. Oh, God. Now I'm imagining Mino Magnus as, like, ja as, like Jabba the Hutt. Someone needs to make an edit of that. Like, Mino Magnus superimposed on Jabba the Hutt. Ow! Mino the Hut, Exactly. Okay, I'm a little worried about my health. I should be able to defeat him before the... Uh-oh. Before the boss kills me. There we go. It's too late. Even with me gone, Ragnarok will still cover the land. You and everyone else will be crushed. Grar! Yeah, that does actually sound like a hut name, Mino the Hut. 
Mino Magnus is Jab of the Hut. Another cursed thing to come out of this stream. All right. All right, let's keep going. All right, hold on. Now we gotta climb up here, which I'm doing a terrible job at. Gotta watch out, because there's uh, spikes everywhere, and I don't want to get hit by them. Nope! Oh, come on! Damn it! Oh, great. This part might take me a try or two. Ah, uh, this part is annoying. Hold on. I, I do need to focus for this part, so let me get past this. There we go. Mino the Hutt, Baba Fett, Zero Skywalker, Darth Omega, and Emperor Wile. I love it. Mr. Bones, you were the chosen one, Zero. It was said you would destroy the Mavericks, not join them. Oh, by the way, I should... One thing I should do, actually, is I should grab the axe off of these guys. Because this axe is really useful. Can you not... Ow, I'm gonna die, aren't I? At least I got to the boss, I think. Oh, well, I kind of want that. Full health refill, baby. All right. Yeah, we can, we can use the axe to our advantage because it destroys most enemies in one hit. The only thing is it takes, you know, it's a long wind-up time, as you'd expect. Wait. Give me that. You were the chosen one, Zero. It was said you would destroy the Mavericks, not join them. Princess CL, oh God. All right, almost there. If only this were Golden Axe. Oh, if only it were a Golden Axe. Yeah, ain't that the truth. All right, guys, here we go. So, coming up on the final boss. This boss is really hard, so it might take me a couple tries. Here it goes. Huh? That's a giant sword. So this is the Ragnarok core. Hehehehe. <laughs> Welcome to your front seat for the end of the world. That voice, Dr. Wild. How did you survive that attack from Ragnarok? Oh, he doesn't look too hot. Survive? That's easy. Because I can't die! What happened to you? Hehehe, <laughs> did my mechanical body surprise you? Did you think I was a Reploid and you could fight me? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I'm pure human. Even with a body that looks like this. How? When the Dark Elf took control of the Reploids and destroyed the Mavericks in the Elf Wars, the humans of the time modified me. They transferred all my memories to program data and switched my body for this armor to, with the power to rejuvenate me. Do you have any idea what this means? I can't age, and wounds heal more quickly than normal. After the war, I was cursed to live in eternity in a world without light or nature. The humans expelled me from Neo Arcadia. <laughs> Justice, freedom, worthless ideals. You Reploids are just machines, but you just, but you started a war a long time ago in the name of freedom. And humans, look what they did to me, driving me away while spouting the word justice. Zero, would you insist on saving them? Controlling the Reploids is nothing. The destruction of all mankind is only fleeting. Not quite alive, not quite dead, forever by my side. I'll make you suffer a fate far greater than anything ever experienced before. Before we get into the boss fight, Ninja587 has a great highlight my message. Servo Kenobi never told you what happened to your original body. He told me enough. He told me that you destroyed it. No, I am your original body. No, that's impossible! This isn't happening! There's no reason for me to go on! What? What am I fighting for? Great, 
Gr Please post that in uh, our Mega Man. That is that is immaculate. All right, here we go, guys. The final boss of the Mega Man Zero series, Dr. Wile. But it's not just Dr. Wile. Look what he's doing. He's fusing with the Ragnarok core. Final boss time. Bwahahaha. I'll teach you there is no place for fools to hide. Fools must live under my rule and my rule alone. Thanks to Ragnarok. Here we go. Final boss of the Mega Man Zero series, Dr. Wild. He is really, really freaking hard. He does a ton of damage really quickly and is just really difficult to hit. This rock attack is probably the easiest attack to dodge from him. Alright, here we go. I need to use a sub tank. Alright, sub tank time. Alright, time to use the axe. The axe is gonna come in handy for this. Hold on, if I can hit him. Alright. So now he rep so now he replicates the eight ma the eight uh wiles numbers from Mega Man Zero Three. Dang it. Alright, another sub tank. Well, at least do that. Come on. There we go. Here we go. So yeah, when he when he when he when he when he when you're at rank A, he'll actually do all eight of Wild's numbers, but otherwise he'll do like four of them. But yes, those were the Reploids from Mega Man Zero Three that you fought. Huh? Ugh, I can't stop the descent. Zero, reaching critical speed. If it goes any faster, I won't be able to get you back. Hurry! No, this isn't over yet. Oh no. Just like every Mega Man boss, there's two phases. Or every Mega Man final boss. Wyo! Hee 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 hee. Bwahahaha! I told you, I can't die. Nobody can stop Ragnarok now. Z Zero, there's no time. Get back here. No, there is a way. If I destroy Wyo's core, the explosion will take Ragnarok out with it. If Ragnarok is blown apart, it no longer poses a threat. But what about you? Wahahaha, are you even capable of it? The Reploid Hero. Protecting justice and humanity. I am one of those humans you swore you were sworn to protect. Do you have it, it, it in you to defeat me? Now he's gonna fuse with not just the Ragnarok core, but Ragnarok itself. Introducing the true final boss of Mega Man Zero Four, Dr. Wile fused with Ragnarok. And as Zero says, I never cared about justice, and I don't ever recall ever calling myself a hero. I have always only fought for the people I believe in. I won't hesitate. If an enemy appears in front of me, I will destroy it. Zero! Zero! CL, believe in me. Zero! Here we go. The final boss commences. You have 120 seconds to take him out. Good luck. All right, here we go. This is gonna be a really difficult fight. Here we go. We can do it. Alright, open again. Come on. Gotta watch out for this part. Now we're gonna need another sub tank. There we go, alright. 
See if we can do it. At least, at least some health will, will regenerate sometimes. Dang it. Come on. Ah, dang it. This final boss is really difficult. I would actually call this the hardest final boss in the entire series. Well, besides like Wily Capsule from Seven. All right, here we go. All right, I need another, all right, this is my last sub tank, so. Let's see if I can, how long I can survive just like this. All right, come on, come on. Don't die, please. One minute remains, yep. There's also a time limit you gotta keep in mind. Nope, get off, get off me, get off me. All right, come on, come on. I'm all, I almost got it. Got it! First try. And yes, this that song was called Falling Down, for those of you who didn't know. Get out of here, Dr. Weil. GG indeed. That is one of the most epic final bosses in any video game period, right up there next to Omega. I will posture check, that's true. Oh, you were gonna put NES controls with this? Are you kidding me, dude? Man, that's just cruel. Oh, that, that is cruel. That's almost as cruel as making me use the smooth filter. Ragnarok is breaking apart. Ragnarok has entered the atmosphere. Most of it will burn up on entry. Impact with Area Zero has been averted. Mission successful. Zero, come in, Zero. Zero, please, come in. There's no response from the receiver. The connection has been lost. See you. Oh, a shooting star. Wow, look, a lot of shooting stars. No, those are pieces of Ragnarok. Does this mean we're saved? Craft, zero. Did you reach zero? Hmm. Zero, why? How could this happen after saving all of us? And just when humans and reploids were finally coming together, what do we do now? It's okay. I'm sure Zero is still out there. And one day, he'll come back to us. See you. And so ends Mega Man Zero Four. As you can see, Zero is dead. But this one feels much more impactful than X1 or X5. And that's definitely true, Mr. Bones. At least Zero went out like a badass. Now many people can say that they sacrificed themselves on a satellite super weapon. You're damn right. This song is called Promise Next New World and is one of my favorite video game songs of all time. I'm not gonna lie, I have teared up to this song a lot. Almost every time I listen to it, in fact, especially when I'm, you know, playing the game. This ending, the buildup, the payoff, and the resolution 
This is my favorite video game ending of all time. And I don't say that lightly. This is one of the most perfect endings I've ever seen to a saga. From 0-1 for all the way to 0-4. Hell, from Mega Man Classic 1, from the very first game, all the way to this. This ends the Zero Saga. This ends Dr. Wily's last creation. He's gone. And that's it. I will probably... I'm sorry for talking a lot about the ending, but this ending means a lot to me. And, like I said, it's my favorite video game ending of all time. In terms of Mega Man Zero Four as a whole, since we should talk about that, I love this game. I adore it. It is one of the best games in the entire franchise. Oh, all the staff at Inti Crates, all the staff at Capcom, and you, thank you for that. Yeah, I can see why it's one of your favorites. KJ Nafune and Takuya Aizu, thank you. And Ken Horonochi as well, produced by Capcom. Mega Man Zero Four is amazing. The combat, the platforming, the bosses, the music, graphics, everything is incredible. I just, please, oh, now it's, Zero, you saved us. Now it's our turn to show you that your faith was not misplaced. Watch, Zero. I'll make this world a better place. One where humans and reploids can walk hand in hand, living in peace. Just come back someday, I... I believe in you. But yeah, as I was saying, everything about this game, incredible. And if you didn't believe Zero was dead, yeah, Zero is dead. We have unlocked an achievement. Watch, Zero. Hard mode was added. We can play hard mode. Save data? Sure. I'll save it to uh, file two. So yeah. Level F! Come on, man! Ah, uh, whatever. But yeah, that's Mega Man Zero Four. And yeah, we have the database too. Um, but yeah, if you haven't played this game yet, please, please play this game. It is incredible. It really needs to be experienced by fans of platformers and just fans of video games in general. If you want to play this game, there are a lot of ways to do so. It originally, it originally released on the Game Boy Advance. It was also in the, on the Nintendo DS with the Mega Man Zero Collection. You can play it on the Nintendo Wii U via the Virtual Console. It's the GBA version. And of course, there's always Mega Man Zero ZX Legacy Collection, available on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam. So yeah, that's the Mega Man Zero series, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, you obtained 50% of all ZZ cards. A new wallpaper has been unlocked. Set your wallpaper via the in-game options menu. And if we go to the options menu, ZZ cards, we can see that we unlock two new achievements. We got Crisis Averted, which is defeating Kraft in the Ragnarok control room and stopping Ragnarok in Mega Man Zero Four. We also got Watch Zero by completing Mega Man Zero Four without using casual scenario mode. So, like I said, that is the Mega Man Zero series. All four of them, Mega Man Zero or Rockman Zero, Mega Man Zero 2, or Rockman Zero 2. Mega Man Zero 3, or Rockman Zero 3. And Mega Man Zero 4, or Rockman Zero 4. Uh, for those of you who are wondering the differences between the English and Japanese versions, there's not that much. The really only big thing with um, Mega Man Zero 4 is that, um, or with, with the Mega Man Zero series in Japanese, is that um, if you kill an enemy with a Z Saber Slash, blood will splurt out. And that was censored in the English versions because they wanted to keep, you know, a decent ESRB rating. Although, to be fair, this game is rated T, so there you go. But 
Even though we completed the Mega Man Zero series, we're not done with Mega Man Zero ZX Legacy Collection. Oh no, not by a long shot. We have an entire other series to take on with Mega Man, with the Mega Man ZX series, which includes Mega Man ZX and Mega Man ZX Advent. I'm really looking forward to playing these games because these games are incredible. And we still have Z Chaser to take on. So next time on Mega Man Zero ZX Legacy Collection, we move on from the era of 22XX and Zero and take on the era of 24XX with Mega Man ZX. Hope you all are looking forward to it. Let's find someone to raid real quick and we'll sign off. Definitely want to spread the Mega Man love. Let's see who's let's see who's streaming. Hold on. Thank you very much for all the kind words, everyone. I really appreciate it. I'm just I'm very glad we we, we defeated the Mega Man Zero series. It's one of my favorite series of video games of all time. It's just incredible. Let's see. Who's streaming? Okay. Hmm. All right. Um. Anyone else streaming? Hold on. Let me double check something real quick. No one else. Hmm. All right. So we are going to raid another person that we have raided before. We are going to raid Silverstone fourteen or Silverstone Candor. Because he is actually playing one of one of what one of my uh, I don't want to say it's one of my favorite indie games, but he's playing a really cool indie game known as Zarbot. It's pretty good for his the last game in his alphabet challenge. So, oh, whoops, gotta go here. So yeah, let's uh, quit out of the game real quick. Switch back to the face cam. Oh, I like how. Oh, actually, before we leave, hold on, I have to do one more thing before we raid. All right, do I wear the hoodie or not? Darth112, let the hate flow through you. Yeah. But yeah, you guys have one minute to vote if you're in the Twitch chat. Do you want me to wear the hoodie on, on the next few streams? Yes or no? And after that, we will raid. Second. You can get this Twitch chat up. Alright. Wait, where's the chat? Hmm, it's not showing up for some reason. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Well, everyone voted yes, so I guess I'll keep wearing the hoodie. But anyways, with that, we are going to raid my good friend Silverstone, and we're going to end off the stream. So, next time on Mega Man Zero ZX Legacy Collection, we jump 200 years into the future and take on Mega Man ZX, originally released for the Nintendo DS. This is 112 signing out for now. See you all later. Have a good night, everyone.